I'm Mark Mason, and this is the Education News. Today, I want to talk to you about a great anomaly in American politics, charter schools. Can you think of another policy initiative which unites Eric Cantor and Barack Obama, Al Franken and the Koch brothers, MSNBC and Fox News? Charter schools have that breadth of support among America's elites. But the results have not been that promising. The only national study of charter schools done by Stanford University shows that 17% of charter schools outperform public schools, 37% of them underperform public schools, and 46% perform at the same rate. So why are politicians of both parties in such a hurry? And why does every celebrity think they need to create one? Among the people who have founded charter schools in this country are the rapper Pitbull, former NBA star Jalen Rose, former NFL star Deion Sanders, Animal Jack Hanna from The Animal Planet, and tennis great Andre Agassi. I think there are two explanations for this. One, these schools are marketed as a safe alternative to inner city public schools, which are often underfunded and overcrowded. And secondly, charter schools have become this profitable investment opportunity for people in private equity because of a 39% federal tax credit that allows people to double their return in 10 years. So schools that are marketed to the poorest of the poor have become an investment opportunity for the one percent we appeal to our conscience and our pocketbook at the same time brilliant a win-win for everybody but wait a minute haven't we seen this before it's just like the subprime mortgage crisis where a lack of oversight and regulation allowed corruption and fraud to become commonplace millions of low and moderate income people were going to be able to purchase their own homes. Banks and investment companies packaged subprime mortgages into bonds which collapsed the world economy, destroying the livelihoods and home ownership dreams of millions of people. And then the whole mess got dumped at the feet of American taxpayers. We know what happened with an unregulated mortgage industry. Well, now an unregulated charter school industry is getting billions of dollars in taxpayer funds without any oversight. When schools are unregulated, you have discrimination against English language learners and special needs students, inflated salaries of school leaders and CEOs, school disciplinary policies which border on child abuse, resegregation of neighborhood schools. You have a practice of driving out students who score badly on tests, and you have all kinds of examples of embezzlement, financial fraud, and fiscal mismanagement. And much like the mortgage crisis, millions of people who thought there was going to be an opportunity discover that there is no real opportunity at all. I'm talking to you, Republicans and Democrats. What we should have learned from the subprime mortgage crisis is that an unregulated industry sold to the poor for the benefit of the elite is going to produce a national catastrophe.